In this video, I'll walk you through some of the pro features that comes with the event, in, event plugin in WordPress. So if you are interested in exploring and understanding how all of those function works, then without further ado, let's get started now. So let's just go to the dashboard of our website where we left in the previous video. If I go to the plugins section here and here you can see I only have event in uh, free version here. I'll have to upload the pro version and you can get the license of the pro version from their website. I'll drop the link of their website in the description of this video. So if I click on this choose file and if I go to the downloads in the compressed here is the plugin file. I'll click on this install now button and once you click on this install now button this plugin will start getting uploaded and here you will have to activate these plugins. Once you will activate this plugin here if you will go to event in you will see that we now have more options available. So just to look at it, you can see that now we have this purchase report, RSVP invitations, our two new settings here. Furthermore, if we if we'll go to this settings option here, you will see that now we have more templates available. Now we have a template number three available here as well. And if I choose this template three, and if I go to the event page on our website that we were creating in the previous video and if we open this event that we have created you can see this is how that event is looking now we also have template 2 available as well so if i'll choose template 2 and if i click on save changes and if i go on the website and if i refresh this page you can see this is how the template number 2 looking but in the free version in the previous video we only looked at this template one and we looked at how the things were looking in this template and this is how they were looking. So let's just keep this template 2 or maybe template 3 for now. So let's just keep the template 3 and for the speakers let's choose this uh, template 1 pro. Other than that everything else is same. And then in here in the style settings we have all of those settings available and these are some settings that were available in the free version as well and this option is now you have available enable attendee registration if you want to uh, get the attendees registration of your website just enable this option and once you will enable this option you will have a complete list of options available if you want them to insert their phone number for registration as required field you can enable it here you can make email required at this part and here you have the options to remove attendees after failed payments you can enter a number here and if you want to disable ticket email you can disable it here and then here you have some styles available for the attendee ticket styles and you can go through all of these options here if you want to insert some additional fields you can insert the additional fields here so i'll just click on save changes here I enabled this attendee option here and then in the email settings you have this email settings here you can enter an email address here and then if you want you can disable re reminder emails as well by default the reminders emails are set it up so there are some of the email tags if you want to create your own email body you can use these email tags to create your own email body and once done you can click on save changes so let's just quickly create an email body so i'll enter the name and insert it here and then if you want to include the site link just copy this short code from here and insert the short code here and for which uh, event you got this invitation or this email just copy this short code from there and insert the short code here that's all and then click on save changes there and that is the simple settings that you have to do for the e emails in this event in plugin now from here you can also integrate the zoom as well in the next video i'm going to show you how you can integrate the zoom you can also integrate google maps as well if you want to integrate that and if you want you can also integrate the google meet as well so you have the complete option here but generally in the industry people ask for zoom integration so you have the option to integrate the zoom here as well i'll walk you through on how you can do that now if you go to the short codes here so in the short codes you can see we have a bunch of new options available that we can use and anywhere where it says pro those are all the things that you get when you are subscribed 
or you have the license for the pro version and there are a lot of many things that you can use with the pro versions more than you think so here if you go to this schedules option i showed you how you can create the schedules and in the speakers option i showed you how you can create these speakers now if we go to events again and the event that we were creating here we have the option for event categories so by default that event was not available when when we were on pre version so in the event category you can actually categorize your event so let's just to delete this event category that comes by default so let's just create a category whether it's a virtual event or so i'll create a category for virtual or it is a physical event so i'll create a category for physical that's it now if you will click on this edit button you have this default option available that comes with your wordpress next up you have this event tags option you can assign tags to your events and then we have this option that says event location so in the event locations you can actually insert the event location so let me just insert this location that is zoom so i'll insert the zoom location i can insert some lorem ipsum here so i'll go to the event that we have created copy some lorem ipsum from here and insert it here then we can insert an address here so for the address i'll copy this new york thing here and insert it here i'll actually change it to new york here and then you can also insert the email latitude and longitude you can get them from google map once done you can click on this add new location and this is how it will look let's just create one more location that is going to be zoom and then insert some description using some lorem ipsum on our website so i'll copy the lorem ipsum and insert it here and then i'll click on add new location so now we have two locations here we have assigned some event categories and now we can get back to the events so let's go back to the event that we were creating so click on this edit button here and now once you will click on this edit button this is how we set it up we entered the title for the event the description for the event we assigned a featured image there and now we have this option to choose the category so this is going to be a physical event so we'll choose physical now we have this location thing here we can assign a location which is going to be new york so i choose a location here these are all the things we did in the previous video so either it's an organizer or a speaker i chose an organizer and then uh, event speakers either they are organizer or speaker you can choose speakers anything that you want to choose then here in the venue location you will have option to choose existing locations the locations that we have created in the pro version that is available or you can enter your own full address so i'll choose this existing location option as we have this option already set it up i'll choose in this new york here then in the date and time option i already walked you through how you can set up this date and time in the previous video i'll drop the link of that video in the description there then the tickets and pricing i showed you how you can set up this ticket pricing and then whether you want to display it as a recurring event you can disable it as a recurring event as well then you can also integrate the google meet here now you have the option to insert a banner so if you want to insert a banner you can insert the banner here toggle this on click on upload image choose an image that you want to use and as a banner and insert the image here if you want to uh, use different kind of background such as the background solid color you can choose a solid color here however you want to choose that is completely up to you then you also have the option to insert some faq so let's just quickly set up some faq here so i'll copy some of the text from here and make it a title let's just actually add a few FAQs like three FAQs and I think that they will look good. So I'll copy some more lorem ipsum as the answer for the question. So with the pro version, you can insert the FAQs in your event as well. Then you you have the option to integrate in Fluent CRM and the miscellaneous settings. Now you have the option to insert the attendee page URL, which is the option we enabled in the settings. So you can set up a page for the attendee and then you can insert the URL for that page here. If you want, you can insert the logo for the event. You can also change the background color for the calendar. If you want, you can change the text color for the calendar. And if you want to uh, distribute 
certificates after the event you can create the certificates as well and that is actually very simple you will have to click on create certificate template and in the certificate template you will be redirected to the pages you will create a page with the name of certificate and then in here you can actually start creating the layout for your certificate you can use gutenberg bricks builder dv theme or DV builder or the elementor page builder you have the complete freedom i'm not going in details that how you can create a certificate here and then if you want uh, to insert an external link for the event you can insert the external link here so for example you want to display information about an event on your website but in actual you want to get the registration details on some other website or through some other services you can insert the link here and then they will be redirected to that part here you can activate or enable the rsvp feature and if you want you can disable the purchase form there then here are the uh, forms settings rsvp form type whether going not going not attending display attendee list if you want to display you can enable this at this part and then attendee list limit you can limit them here that how many attendees can actually join this event then here is the stock option these are all related to uh, attendees and everything like that so once done you can click on this update page and once you will click on this update page you can click on this open in a new tab and you can see this is actually how all of these things looks these are the speakers the schedule uh, frequently asked question the organizer and everything else this is how it actually looks so i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video where i'll walk you through that how you can integrate zoom into this event in event plugin and how you can set up a virtual event on your website